guys, it's Aiden over BHA here bringing you another video. Uh, this is how to install Docker on Ubuntu. Uh, this was a request by one of my followers and they were looking to install Docker on an Ubuntu setup. So I thought I'd throw this together pretty quick. This is Ubuntu 18.04. Um, it's not that far off from a Mac version, but of course everything on this one will be done from the command line. Still a pretty easy setup. So let's go ahead and do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, of course, we're going to make sure that our system is up to date. Uh, once that is done, then basically we're ready to install Docker. Once that's installed, uh, just as an added uh, bonus, we're going to go ahead and install Portainer as well, which will be our first Docker container, and also give us the ability to manage it via a web GUI. And then, of course, lastly, we'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So as always, uh, I like to make sure my system stays up to date. So for starters, we're going to do a sudo apt-get update. And then, of course, a sudo apt-get upgrade. And I'll kind of fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Now that we have completed our updates, we are ready to install Docker. That's pretty easy to do as well. We're going to do a sudo apt install docker.io. And again, it'll take a little bit to run through the install, so we'll kind of fast forward through this to uh, speed it along. All right, so once the install is complete, we want to make sure that we enable it in systemctl so that it'll auto start at reboot so we're going to do a sudo systemctl enable docker and then of course sudo systemctl start docker now lastly we're just going to check the status on that to make sure everything looks okay we'll do a sudo systemctl status docker and as you can see there, it's active and running and everything looks good. So we are ready to move on to the next step. All right, so for the next step, we're gonna go ahead and install our first Docker container, which is gonna be Portainer. We'll use it to manage a Docker via a web GUI. So for starters for that, we're going to create a volume to uh, store everything in. So we're going to do a sudo docker volume create. And then I'm just going to call it portainer underscore data. And once that's done, then we are ready to go ahead and install our uh, portainer setup. For that, we're going to do a sudo docker run dash D and I'm going to go ahead and break this out by lines and again I'll have all this stuff in the configuration so you can just copy and paste it <clears throat> for the name we're going to go ahead and just call it portainer and then I want it to restart if for any reason uh, it crashes or my machine has to reboot and everything like that I want it to automatically come back up, so I'm going to add in a line for restart, and I'll say just on dash failure. Uh, next will be the port that we want to use. Uh, I think by default, Portainer is set up to use 9000, and we're going to leave it that way as well. So we're just going to do 9000 colon 9000. All right, dash V. All right, so this line is required if you're going to manage a local Docker instance from Portainer. So with Portainer, you're able to manage Docker in any location as long as you have access to it. But because we are running it on the same machine that we want to manage, we have to add this line in here that says var run docker.sock colon var run docker.sock. And then now here is another dash V. This will be the volume that we just created. 
So it was called portainer underscore data. And you just put colon slash data. And then lastly here, we're just going to call out the installation of portainer. So it's portainer slash portainer. And that's it. It completed. If you didn't already have it downloaded, it would go through and download that uh, portainer instance before installing it. But we are now ready to move over to the last step, which is just kind of take a look at Portainer in action. We're now ready to move over to the last step, which is just take a look at Portainer in action. So of course we access Portainer uh, via the web GUI just by going to the host IP address. Uh, which for me, I think in this instance was 10.10.10.245 or something like that, 244. And then, of course, the port number will be 9000. The first time you pull that up, it's going to come up and ask you to create a username and password. So we're going to stick with admin for our username and then password. I'm just going to create one here. And then click on create user. All right, so here is where you have the option to to manage a remote instance of Docker or local. And as you can see, there's multiple choices there. We're going to go ahead and choose local. And there's that line that I spoke of earlier. We added that dash V in our install that pointed to the var run docker.sock. That was a required line in order for us to be able to access our local instance of Docker. Once we know we have everything ready, we're gonna hit connect and it uh, didn't throw any errors, it connected okay, and as you can see, it actually has our portainer docker listed there. And let's just go ahead and take a look at that. And you can see it, it connected to our volume as it, as it was supposed to as well, so everything is looking good. And we can click on the uh, little graph icon here, and it'll start pulling some statistics for us. But that's basically it, guys. That is the end of this video. We have installed Docker on Ubuntu 18.04. Not very hard to do. Pretty easy, quick video. Probably shorter than the Mac video. So let's go ahead and do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course we started out by making sure our system was up to date. Uh, once that was done, we uh, installed Docker. Uh, once we had that installed, we went ahead and installed Portainer, so we had a web GUI to manage it with. And then, of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. Action. Like I said, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't know how you have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.